Hey everybody, this is Kevin. I'm with Bohemian Art Simulations. Today we're going to talk about using VBS4 for mine clearance training. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently in the VBS4 editor. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into mine placement. At this point, it's assumed that you guys have watched the other videos describing how to use the editor. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, I recommend watching because it gives a lot of context that I'm not going to go over in this particular video. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about, as I mentioned, is to place mines. Uh, and there's a couple different ways to do it depending on the training need. Uh, starting with the right and working away to the left, we're going to talk about the simple uh, mine object. What I can do is I can just select mine on the tree on the left and double click. It allows me to determine what type of mine I have. We have uh, varying different types of uh, anti tank, anti personnel, and uh, C mines as well, different varieties. Uh, in this menu, I can also determine the placement radius. So if I want some variety and randomness with my mine placement, uh, I can set it so one mine will show up in the 50 meters. Uh, in addition to that, I can set the condition presence or the presence condition, which allows me to add some scripting to it. So maybe I only want mines to show up if there are more than five blue four players in an area. Uh, continuing on to the left, we've got the IED editor object, which can be selected by selecting IED. Uh, and then when I double click where I want the mine, this gives me a little more configurable parameters relevant to uh, defeating IEDs. So we have different varieties of objects, uh, some more obvious than others. In this case, it's a couple of mortar rounds with a cell phone or detonator strapped to it. Uh, but we get to configure a little bit more. So whether uh, the explosion, what the visual explosion size looks like, whether it does damage or not, uh, if it's booby trapped, um, and the detonation type. The detonation type is important because there are other systems within VBS that we'll talk about uh, at other times that can be used to defeat specific types. So uh, as an example, uh, a cell phone detonated IED can be uh, defeated using jamming technology. And again, as an administrator, I can toggle that on or off to facilitate learning, whatever it is. And then the uh, third and final objective is a scripted minefield. So I select script and place it nearby. This gives me the capability to build a minefield itself. Uh, has similar parameters to the uh, original mine object where I can choose the mine type, uh, but it allows me to set multiple different mine, uh, a lot of different mines in an area. So you place a trigger and you link this minefield object to that trigger. So in this case, I know there's going to be one mine of this variety, the T62M, uh, at this spacing uh, with warning signs. So with that being said, and describing how to place different varieties of mine into a, mines into a scenario, let's uh, talk about now how to um, first visualize and find the mine. So I'm going to preview the scenario, scenario now by pressing the preview button or the H key. And now I'm currently in training mode. So I am controlling my avatar. I can shoot, move, and communicate. And all the controls and other systems tied to this have been talked about in a different video. Uh, with regards to locating the IDs, the first thing to um, that we can use in VBS is, of course, your Mark 1 eyeball. So I can use my optics, and I can spot uh, these shifty-looking objects out in this field uh, and this minefield uh, symbol there. Uh, we also have um, vehicle-based systems. So in this case, this actually has a mine detector on the front of it. Uh, we have military working dogs, and we also have uh, handheld mine clearance devices. What I will do now is just quickly pick this up, and we'll activate it, and then I'm going to do two birds, one stone. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to quickly pull out the editor uh, so I can show off uh, the dog's behavior. So in this case, I'm just going to give the dog a waypoint near the IED, and it should start barking when it gets close and can smell the IED. There goes the dog. Happy as can be. And then I'll move a little bit closer. You can see he smells it and he starts barking. So that's one way. Another way is by, uh, I'm just going to teleport myself closer here and go back in training mode. And I just turned my Minesweeper on. And when I get close, you can hear it beep. When I get further away, it doesn't beep. Now that we've talked about three different ways to um, locate the mine, uh, which is using handheld equipment, uh, military working dogs, uh, my eyeballs, and uh, vehicle mount equipment, let's talk about how to defeat the, uh, the IEDs. So in this case, let me get the dog out of the way. Uh, as you can see, we have a tremendous amount of content in here. Uh, of different varieties, mine plows, micklicks, uh, mine sweepers, um, buffaloes, 
all different types of systems. I'm not gonna, I don't have time to go through all of it, but I will just quickly jump into one of these vehicles uh, and show off uh, the mine plow or the, yeah, the mine roller, excuse me. And let's just find some mines to run over. So you can see I've just hit a mine and the mine roller has uh, detached. Uh, it's taken enough damage so that it won't uh, doesn't remain on the vehicle, but uh, as you can see, my vehicle is still in working order and I can correctly uh, get out of the area. So again, this is just a very high level overview of all the different mine sweeping content within, or mine placement, mine sweeping, and mine uh, detonating content within VBS4. Uh, keeping in mind that this is only a small sliver of the content that we have in VBS4 for uh, mine sweeping. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us uh, via our website. Thank you very much.